and welcome to MGP 564. I'm Kev and with me as ever this Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Right, am I going to insist that we do this again? Because I didn't say say hello three times. Unless all three, unless all three of you said hello in exactly the same voice and then Anna and Pab said it again. Well, Not I said hello to you and then I said hello to the boys and girls. I, I said hello. No, you. I've got no issue with how you did it. It's how Sheepdog did it. Sheepdog well, has broken, broken the way we normally do things. It's unacceptable. Normally, I don't greet you. I just greet the boys and girls. In well, then you owe me 563 hellos. I want a hello for every podcast we've ever done. I might just send you 500 texts. I'll send you a text bomb. 563 texts. Thank you. Mm. I want one for each of them. Plus, there's all those... Uh, unregulated non MGP podcasts we did as well. You probably owe me close to a thousand hellos. <laughs> We've done a lot of podcasts, haven't we? A lot, a lot of podcasts over Too the many, years. Too many, some would argue. I like maybe the way no, no one. I like the way no one argues. Like, yeah, everyone's like, yeah, you know what? We we gave the listener time to really think that over. And be like, yeah, they have done too many. This, why why do I still listen to this? Um, so. I don't know if I said to you before, but my job sort of not changed, but become more officially bids and marketing rather than just I'm the guy who does whatever they need me to do that I can do. But the person I'm working with in marketing was talking to Angry John and Angry John said something like, you should talk to some guy. He's really good at editing video and audio. He'll be able to sort you out. And while my colleague is telling me this, I'm like, Angry John only knows me as somebody who edits video and audio. <laughs> like, why? Are, what on earth is he saying about me? How rude! Um, although, yeah, all, to be fair, all he's doing there is showing that he's watched some of your content. Exactly. Yeah. Although the name that she said, I don't think we have a colleague called that. I think she. I think she heard something like Reese, and I think he was saying Rich, and she's just not heard the name right. And now she's looking for this guy called Reese, who she thinks is going to edit all of our stuff. But actually, I think he was probably saying. Rich will do all that because he can't. He can't call me Sheepdog at work. Um, why does he? Why has he made up a name for you though? Well, that's that just mean, what people do. Isn't it? You yeah, know is it rules. an ironic name because you're so poor? It, yeah, he pays me. He knows what he knows what I get paid, so he's uh, he's called me that. But um, yeah, no, I I wonder whether she misheard the name he said, and that's the issue. You should put on a false moustache and introduce yourself as Reese, and then Maybe. see if see if Angry John lets you edit a video for him. Get two wage packets, become the techie guy. Exactly. See, sometimes you just don't think these things through. You need me here to uh, to guide you through these complications of modern life and allow you to feel good about wearing a false moustache, which sometimes I feel like you're not very comfortable with. But as a man who can't grow a real moustache, it's I'm good really for not. you to wear a false one. The last time I wore one, it was very uncomfortable and I spent the whole night fiddling with it. And in the end, I asked someone to just draw a moustache on me with black uh, face paint. You should have had it tattooed. Then you would have never had to have gone through any of this again. That would have been ideal. Mm -hmm. But then my hair changes colour all the time. So <laughs> what hair? What? What hair? My, Your my, hair my facial hair, my beard. It can be brown. It can be ginger. Isn't that a song? It can be blonde. My my hair. Does your hair not change colour? <laughs> I think you've just done a Mika song. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go blue, um, but. No, my not... beard doesn't randomly change colour. I'm not a, I'm not a lizard. Why is your beard am... changing colour? Am I a lizard? Is it's... it just when you've got food in it? Do you need to clean no. more often? Is that what we're establishing here? No, Sometimes I, it gets, I reckon... It's like it's soaked in gravy. I don't understand. Um, I don't know what it is, really, but if I went out in the, in the sun and got a tan... I had a strawberry ice cream the other day, and all of a sudden my beard was pink. I don't understand. No, I'd have like a, a blondier beard than than I do in the winter. My winter coat is obviously a darker brown. Do you not have that? Is that not a thing everybody has? I, I've had that. I used to go to Europe oh, as a kid on holiday face over here, and everyone would assume I was German because I'd suddenly have blonde hair, blonde eyebrows, and everyone would talk to me in German. And then I'd come back to the UK, and my hair would turn brown again. And yeah, no problem. Understanding it. I mean, my my beard's just grey these days, so it's gradually changed colour over about fifteen years. Does that count? No. Maybe you. No. Maybe you just do your colour changing quicker than I do. 
Maybe I'm part oh, chameleon just a gradual and I just process. Didn't know. Yeah. Or maybe you just need to shampoo your beard more often. Yeah. But I wouldn't explain monster. like it getting uh, maybe maybe washing it once a year is the problem. Yeah, I wash it in the summer and it goes blonde, and then by the end of the year it's really dark brown. And once full of a mud. year, I give it a good clean with bleach to make sure it's really clean. <laughs> and for some reason it goes blonde. And then over the course of the year, it goes dark again. Yeah, but that we'll doesn't explain the ginger times when it's a gingery color. I mean, that's just the in-between bit, isn't it? When it's half blonde, half brown. That's basically what ginger is, isn't it? Ginger's just hair that can't make up its mind. Yeah, I also have that bit on the side of my head that's just a black circle. You know that. So my hair is just mad. Interesting. Um, Pab, does your, does your beard randomly change color or is Sheepdog weird? I need to know which one of us is weird here. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, so as 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 I suspected, sheepdog's weird. I mean, who'd I, have thought? I do have a winter coat, but but you're talking just... about a jacket. A jacket, surely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. I don't wear coats. You used to do nothing but wear coats. You need to make up your mind. Uh, you used to come and sit in our house. You used to come and sit in our house and do the podcast wearing your coat. And you would refuse to take it off the whole time you were there. Apparently, if your hair's changing colour, it's because it's like hormonal changes. So I'm just still hormonal, basically. So your hair changes colour when you have your period. That's what we've established here. I guess so. There we go. Problem solved, boys and girls. Other than Sheepdog's Technicolor beard coat, um, how's everyone else's week been? Is it a week? Were we, were we here last week, Anna? Was last week? No, we no you were Oh, yeah. it's so long ago. Yes, I assume it, there was no was podcast like last week then. No, I saw there was, I believe. I saw people nah, popping up and not, around. There is not a chance these two bothered to do the podcast without us, lazy as they are. We did. We were wondering why you were logged in on Football Manager when you're on holiday. Because <laughs> I was playing Football Manager. <laughs> yes, That's what we he likes to do to, to relax. Mm. And he was doing a save, weren't you, Kevin? Yeah, I'm doing a Pentagon challenge. Which I'm currently playing right now as well. So I've got lots of in between bits to do. So I can do a, a big goodbye to this version of Football Manager video before FM25 comes out. Because we're basically playing Football Manager 2 version 5. We're underlining it, saying goodbye. Most complete version of Football Manager ever. And I figured an appropriate goodbye would be me, for me to finally, after nearly 30 years of playing this game, do the hardest challenge the game has to offer. So I'm doing a Pentagon Challenge, which for those of you who are uneducated when it comes to all things Football Manager, means I have started a save, unemployed, with no coaching badges, loaded up every nation in the game, and I'm going to win the Champions League in all five continents as part of one career, starting as an unemployed Herbert who doesn't know anything about football. So complete realism mode. I have the added complication as well, because I like to play Football Manager on 100% realism mode. I uh, I put my real age in and I have to complete it before my in-game guy is 70 years old because I'm not going to work beyond 70. So whereas normal people who do this have just got as long as it takes, I've basically got like 27, 28 seasons. To, is that right? Is that I don't think... 28 years from being 70? That can't be right. <laughs> if you were um, 70 and you'd done four of the five and... All you had to really do was go to like South America and win their top cup. I think you'd probably find it in yourself to go and live. See, that's like... the thing. I can't imagine a circumstance where I go to South America last. That's the well, other thing no. as well. I, Australia I'm then. Almost certainly. Yeah, I'm either finishing in Europe because it's taken me that long to convince someone in Europe to give me a job. Or, yeah, I'm going somewhere that speaks it. So I'll go to the MLS or Australia last and do them because they're like retirement leagues. I'm not going to do the Chilean third tier at 70 years old, am I? That's that's insanity. Does that that's mean that... like Big Ange is already two? Because he, he won up, up in Scotland, didn't he? And he's won in Australia. He's not I won think. the Champions League in Europe, has he? Oh, not the Champions League. Okay, is that what you meant? Sorry, I misunderstood yeah, I'm winning. That. I'm winning the Champions League on all five continents. So when so Ange that... wins just the Champions League in a couple of years' time, <laughs> um, he can he can go back to Australia and do one there as well. Exactly. And then he's got still got three more to do. I believe Easy. in him. Easy peasy. Not that he's obviously he's not going to win one with uh, with Tottenham. Although, 
slight spoilers, episode one, I do end up managing Spurs. Cape Town Spurs in South <laughs> Africa. I was going to say, I was like, they hired you when you were unemployed and a nobody. But um, No, the yeah. Cape Town Spurs in South Africa did. So uh, That's yeah. outrageous because they're ruining our slogan of there's only one Spurs. Well, there's only one hot spur, I think it is, they say. So maybe they're not a hot spur. Well, looking at their history, they used to be called Ajax Cape Town. So presumably Ajax <laughs> sued them. And they went, they went to the next rung down on the ladder. And ended oh, we are basically uh, England English Ajax, aren't we? Like same sort of. No, because Ajax win stuff quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose they're in an easier league, though, aren't they? Exactly. But um, yeah, so Kev managing Spurs incoming, boys and girls. But yeah, it'll be it'll be a while. It's it. I was playing it all week when we were in uh, when we were in centre parks, and yeah, it's going to, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a big. It's going to be a big save file by the time it's done, and a big epic video. But assuming I complete it, which let's face it, of course I'm going to complete it. I'm me. Um, but it's going to be. It's going to be quite the story. It's going to be a delight. So that's um, the 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 one downside to me deciding to do this enormous, time consuming football manager video. And I'm sure the uh, the regular listeners know where this one's going. I didn't play anything other than Football Manager the whole week we were away. I, I downloaded all those games you told me to download, Fabi, mm-hmm. and did not touch them because I was playing Football Manager. Wow. How are you feeling about that? He was playing with the kids as well, like board Yeah, I, did, I, I played uh, Brictionary, which is Lego Pictionary. It's not a video game, but uh, that's that's quite the thing. We got it from a Lego convention secondhand. And asked the asked, man if it was I all asked. there. Yeah, yes. I've got yes, I've got is. you on video asking the man if it's all there, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, it's all there." And we we took him on trust because why would you not take the man on trust? We're very trusting people. Um, and then we um, we packed it in the car. Didn't check any of it because why would we check it? The man said it was all there. Opened it up, and almost all the pieces were missing, and it was just a few dirty pieces several pubes and just yeah Jesus. it was it was pretty rotten the concept Eesh. of the game is pretty good but we only had one blue piece in the entire box and yeah it was just a random assortment of dirty lego pieces with a few pictionary cards basically uh, but we have got the, the we didn't also, we also didn't have the instruction manual so i downloaded the instructions off the internet and luckily the instructions do have a parts list so i'm now going to put together mm-hmm the actual parts list the game is supposed to have throw away all these filthy pieces and just keep the cards and we'll try again next time we uh next time we have a large enough group which might well be <laughs> when we're in france pabby we might force you force you to play brictionary with us but you'll have the pleasure of not having to touch the pube covered pieces because <laughs> i'll have been them i'm assuming this is like the card says something on it, you build it out of Lego and everyone has to guess what it yeah, is, right? exactly that. It's exactly Pictionary, but rather than drawing, you build it out of Lego. And the idea is you have a nice assortment of pieces to build it with. But I forget some of the, thing, some of the things we had to do. I think my so first... Far. Yeah, my first one was clock, I think. We had no round pieces and no flat pieces. So I basically had an assortment of different coloured, dirty, rectangular bricks to try and build a clock with. and. Uh, it was a challenge. I think it would be easier if all the parts were there. But we were basically playing it on hard mode. You know how we are. We like to play games on hard mode. It was basically the Dark Souls of board games playing that with the pieces we had available to us. So, you know, I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of us. Um, but we did, we only played two rounds because we didn't really want to touch the dirty Lego for too long. <laughs> um, it, it'll be nice when it's fixed. So we did play a little bit of that. I did have like two rounds of Balatro before I decided to start this Football Manager save. Um, but yeah, didn't touch any of the new games you told me to buy. And for that, Pabby, I am very sorry, but I have come to realize that I quite like Football Manager and I'm going to miss this version of it when it's gone. So I'm now for the first time in seven years playing a save that isn't yet part of any kind of videos. I'm not streaming it. I'm not doing regular updates on it. I'm just playing through an entire save. Then I'm going to make a massive video about it afterwards. And it's quite fun just playing Football Manager. I recommend you all try it. It's quite a good game. Yeah. 
It is. What are you going to do if you hate the new one? If you play the new one and you just hate it? Pretend to like it for the money, probably. <laughs> well, well like, play 24 like in us. the background. Yeah, Pretend exactly. to like us for the money. Yeah, exactly. I am. I'm not. I mean, I I do enough brand deals. I'm not averse to just pretending I like something if I don't. I've never done that, boys and girls. Apart from with that ear cleaning thing years ago. Everything else I've ever promoted, I like. <laughs> the ear, the ear cleaning thing, though, paid us a grand before we went to Disney for the first time. What you're gonna do if someone says, "Here, have a grand," tell people this ear cleaning camera is great. What's your answer to that question? Obviously, you take the money and clean your damn ears. Goodness me. I actually want an ear cleaning camera. I mean, that feels quite... Uh... I mean, I can recommend one. Yeah. I guess it's the right not price. One. I mean, it's fine. I just don't... As a as a ear cleaning camera, I'm sure it's top tier. I just don't see the point of an ear cleaning camera. I don't want to have dirty ears. What, and you think sticking something in them and looking at your phone screen... To see where it's being stuck is going to help you not have to just wash your ears. <laughs> yeah, but you you know you can't be confident you've done a good job until you look in there, can you? I mean, I am. I, are I have you been. Yeah, mm. very confident. My ears are fine. Anna will confirm. I never have any ear flakes, do I, Anna? That's all you have. Yeah, I'm quite a flaky eared guy. Yeah, but I like it. I like my ear flakes. They're part of my personality now. That's but yeah, that's uh, that's our week. We had a lovely time at Centre Parks, and um, this week not so. We don't need to get into that. We already <laughs> we already did a whole stream about that. Uh, if people if people want to know why this week's been more challenging, go and watch our stream replay from earlier in the week on the Block Party YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, um, it was it was a fun week, but I didn't really play a lot. Silly old Kev! Oh, that <laughs> silly old Kev not playing games again. What a rascal! See, I did listen to something Pep told me last week, and I did act on it. So I mm. have restored balance there. Thank you very much, Pabby. Um, mm -hmm. I went on the Amazon Prime special offer, Doodad, and got the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League freebie. Um, yes. Because why not? You know, I wanted to check it out. I made the mistake of assuming for all this time until this point, because I guess I just never saw them shooting guns in any of the videos I watched, that it was more like the gameplay of the uh, Batman games. And it's... Eh, I mean, there's jumping. What, so I've, I've not played tons of it because I haven't had time. I've been editing the comic. I've been doing all sorts. I'm not going to make too many more excuses. But from what I've played, it feels like all the characters kind of have the same ability, but they've just kind of made it look slightly different. When it was telling me, like, oh, which character do you want to play as? And it was like, this player's good for, you know, beating everything and being very, like, the, uh, the shark was, you know, very good at sort of melee and smashing everything and being very strong. And uh, what's his name? Boomer is fast. I was kind of like, well, they all seemed pretty much the same speed. They all seemed to have the same kind of pulling themselves up, swinging, jumping in the air getting to places it I, i'm a bit like do you remember when we had that peter molyneux interview where he said all of the cars in his game had the exact same speed and control and people were adamant that the blue car and the green car were different and all of that i remember absolutely nothing about that i interview. don't know <laughs> well no he, that was something he was telling us that he made a racing game and every and because of deadlines every car in it had exactly the same stats but people still swore blindly that one car was better than another i feel like that's basically what these characters were like i just felt like they're all identical uh, maybe if i played it more i'd feel the nuances maybe they get more skills later on but i was just kind of like oh it's a jump around and shoot stuff game is it great um i was a little bit disappointed by that um i will continue to see where it goes but i'm glad i didn't pay for it at this point and I was I was thinking it was good. Like, oh, what a treat! Yay! You know, I'm getting to play this this big deal game that came from Warner Brothers and so on and so forth. And it's you know a real real big IP, and it's they put a lot of effort in, and they want this to work, and they wanted it to be a whole season thing that people pay into. But yeah, free. Ugh, I feel lucky I got it for free. Um, it's a shame that we're recording this uh, today, and this deal ends at the weekend because alongside Suicide Squad, you've also got uh, Rise of the Team Raider. Uh, Chivalry 2 and a bunch of other games in the Amazon Prime thing. So I did put a tweet out just to tell people to have a look at it. 
Um, I'm guessing they're going to replace the games with other stuff. Uh, this was a Prime Day offer, but they have uh, Call of Juarez, is it? Card yes. Shark and some other games on there. Yeah, um, they, they put new games on monthly sheep, Doug, on, on mm, Prime. I've never looked Doug. at this before. I used to use it for the Pokemon freebies, but uh, I'd never. Mm-hmm. It's got Alex Kid in Miracle World, which if anyone watched me stream that one night, it was blood. I got right to the end. It was bloody hard. We died on the same bit for about an hour and a half straight. Um, it's got the uh, Shredder's Revenge Turtles game that I also played recently. Um, yeah, there's there's some good stuff on there. It's quite impressive that they've got uh, so many, really, for just part of your Prime bill. You know, I pay my whatever a month it is for Prime. You know, you're getting that, you're getting your Twitch sub, you're getting your actual Prime video, you're getting your deliveries. I'm kind of confused by Prime sometimes. I guess that's you know what being massive does for you. Um, what else have I played? I've been playing Smash Bros with my little one. It's been really cool. Um, we got to like the we're quite far in it. So when I played the story mode on that, I didn't get to the end boss or anything. But he's yeah, you know, he's been playing it well. Me and him have been playing where I've been kind of setting it up and I've been playing it when it gets too hard for him, but he's been doing it when he can, because I just want to get him good at games. And uh we're like circling the shields and every time we do certain things the shields weaken, and I'm like, God, I if I remember rightly, I think when you when you when you beat that, it then makes you play the whole world again in another way. And I think that's why I stopped because it turned out it was a massively, massively long story mode. But uh, yeah, he's enjoying it, and I'm enjoying having something to kind of play with him. And obviously, the school holidays will have just kicked off when you're listening to this. And I'm looking forward to him being sat in the other room and me dipping in and out throughout my school, my work, my school days, my work days, um, because yeah, it's cool. Um, is it the summer holidays? Goodness me. Yeah, They're Friday. Always an holiday, these children. They are. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, it was a uh, go fest at the weekend. Did you partake, Kevin? No. I forgot it was happening. Uh, you lie. I told you it was happening. Yeah, but then we were busy. I don't remember. What were we doing this weekend? We were busy with something. I don't remember what it was. Sleeping. Yeah, recovering from Centre Park, <laughs> I think. I just, I'd just i done so much physical activity at Centre Park. So I went on the rapids for the first time in years. I rode a bike. I was riding a bike around every day. I did so much physical activity that, oh, God, yeah, we got home on Friday and, and we slept. both went to bed at like 3 p.m. <laughs> and slept through till the next morning, effectively. And then I spent most of Saturday asleep. And then it was the Euros final on Sunday. So I just sat around chewing my fingernails all day so yeah i didn't partake because it was quite the uh no, quite the fair. weekend uh, it was good i mean i, I always finished them and think well what do, what do i think of that weekend was it was it a good go fest and obviously it wasn't as good as the one we went to in person because that was just epic wandering around in london but i got like 21 shinies uh, i had a few of them already um they had a whole thing where Basically, they had this one, it was called Necrozma, and it was just everywhere in raids. And the idea was if you could raid it enough times, you could merge it with another Pokemon you had, and then it would become more powerful. Um, it was nice to see a lot of people out doing them raids on the Sunday. On the day before, I feel like I just kind of went through the motions of doing the little story to unlock. So last year, we got the um, Deontay Mythical, and this year it was Marshadow. Um, my son casually mentioned just before it started that that's his third favorite Pokemon and he really wanted a ticket. So he ended up getting a ticket out of me, but it meant I had someone to play with, which was good. I haven't played Pokemon Go with Ollie in ages. It was really nice just driving around and hearing him go shiny. Oh, oh get really excited again. It's been a few years since he's really been into it like that. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. Uh, I feel like they're going straight into another mini events here and there. And it's, oh, damn it. Pokemon slow down a bit. Although why would they, they want to make money. But um yeah, I can't really say much more than that. I, I really wish they'd lower the damn price of the remote raids. They'd make more money out of me if they made them uh, 100 coins again instead of whatever ripoff they are at the moment. Release uh, uh, will... life-threatening disease then. Then they will. That's the key. You need a pandemic. And then they'll drop mm. the prices again. It's, that's that's the answer. You know what uh, to do. It's just weird. I don't. I mean, I guess they're making enough... I mean, well, I was going to say, I guess they're making enough money that they don't need to, but actually they they, they changed the price of... Uh, remote raid passes from 100 coins to 195 and then immediately they were like well there's loads of articles about how they were making far less money and the company was starting to struggle and they laid off a load of people and then they've not posted the same amount of money since and it's like 
yeah we, we, we keep telling you why we're all telling you the same thing make these affordable again um it's a very weird decision uh i can't think of anything else i've played i I've, I've recorded since I did my trip. Pap, did I mention last week that I was playing Suica game on the plane and the air this like poked her head over? I might have done actually, but I was, I, I haven't told Kevin Allen. I don't but, know. Uh, I sat there playing Suica game and um, she leant in and I thought she was telling me to turn my phone off and I was going to be all like, oh yeah, sorry, I, it's on its airplane mode. And she was just like, have you ever had two watermelons hit each other? And my mate next to me was just like, isn't that swinger talk? Well, she, my mate next to me was just like, what? <laughs> um, and I was just like, uh, no, I can get it to one watermelon, but um, I've never been able to make two. And she was like, I woke my husband up the other day because I got my first watermelon. And I was like, oh, nice. And she was like, let me know how you get on. And then I obviously didn't because I wasn't going to bother her while she's at work. But as we're getting off the plane, my mate was like, he'd seen me get a watermelon. And he was like, you tell her you got your watermelon. And I just was like, be embarrassed like a teenager being like no i'm just gonna get off the plane <laughs> we're here now i don't need to talk to these people um but yeah i thought that was very funny that, that she was just like excited to see another speaker game player um and i think that is all the gaming stuff i can talk about speaker game the one i discovered baby mm. go on tell us some more games that you have discovered what have you been what up have... to i mean what <sighs> nothing Honestly, nothing. You lazy goat. What's going yeah, on? You're a disgrace, Pam. I'm. I'm playing. I'm. I'm. I'm in Elder Ring. Okay, and that requires time, effort, and a lot of grinding. Um. I. I don't know if I've said this before. I've slowly been gaining my confidence in a, in the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. And I've, I don't know if I've brought it up here. I liken myself to, um, you know, when when Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 1, like, realised he's not afraid anymore and he starts shouting, I'm not afraid anymore. And then he sees something that scares him, he runs off and hides under the bed. That's, that's kind of what I've been like this week. Because I, I, I've been pretty much cleaning up around the map and then I get to a boss and I run away. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, that's where that's where I that's what I've been doing this week. I've been grinding on. Um, I don't even know where I was now. There was a castle that I, I ended up finding a good loop in because I keep finding myself in situations where I end up with like four hundred thousand runes. And yes, I know that's a lot of runes. But as I've mentioned before, I need eight eight. I'm nearly 900,000 runes now at this point to level up. So when I get to nearly half a level, I think I'm not burning them on a boss that's going to just one-shot me the second I walk in. So I end up doing, like, levels of grinding, just just doing routes and stuff just to clear it. And I found a good route, which was doing about, I want to say about 70-ish thousand runes every, every time I did the loop of um, this castle. Um, which is fun. I know. I know there are ways to to get the runes quicker. There is a rune farm thing where you do it, and you can get it really quickly. But I haven't found that yet. I know where it is, but I haven't been there yet. And I think making me work for it a little bit is also part of it. Because yes, I did. I did do a lot of rune farming in the main base game. So I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to do it not look more legitimately, but I'm just I'm just doing a lot of grinding. I beat the um, I beat like two more bosses since the last time. I think I've just I've beat the the dancing lion, whatever it's called. That was that was relatively straightforward what it was, um, and I've done a catacomb which had some lightning fella in it. Um, and as you know, a catacombs are they're a nuisance because you can't just you can't teleport out of a catacomb. Once you're in it, the only way back is to to travel back, and sometimes you can't like walk back out of it. Um, you just have to do it. Um, so I did that, and that's where I've been with it. It's been the continuous grind of find a new area, 
just slowly shuffle through the area to the grace points and then become accustomed with it and clean it up pretty well until I get to a boss and then I decide, do I want, can I afford to lose these runes? If not, we go and grind. If we, if I can afford to lose them, we go in and we go fight. Um, I did find a piece of the map um, yesterday, which I've been trying to find all week. I've been trying to find out, figure out how to get to this, this map location. Um, and it was right next to a place where I had already looked. I had already found, I uh, just didn't go through a cave and out the other side. I went into the front of the cave, went that's as far as it goes, not realising. that no, you carry on going through it and you come at the other side and you end up where you want to be. Um, that was very foolish of me, but it is, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, other than that, I've, I've played that and I've played more I've been playing more Fortnite uh, they have put no they, we, we mentioned the uh, reload stuff didn't we? didn't we last time I think I've not been playing the reload stuff even though I should be um, the I'm just getting I feel like I'm getting more I'm, I don't know I'm getting a little better at it this season though um, I'm finding the cars still annoying but we're in week eight now. I think we've got another two to three weeks for a new season where I'm hoping and praying they actually get rid of the cars uh, because they're driving me a little insane at times. And I feel like this past week, we've, they've gone... I don't know whether something's changed in the meta, but I feel like there's a lot more cars you know, just potted about because I feel like they died down after the initial week or two of them being in and they were new and different. I think everyone kind of got tired of them and just kind of pushed away from them. But we've seen a see, seen like a resurgence of it recently, uh, and then, and it's 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 been been annoying because we typically don't like to use the cars unless we're just using them to get to A to B, whereas everyone else is using them like a weapon, uh, which infuriates me. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is that has pretty much been it. I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Well, good job Anna's here, eh? Yeah. I, she, man, has been hard at work. <laughs> that sounds like the laugh of a woman who's played eight games. Uh... Oh, it, I have a question for you. Did you did you take the suitcase in the end? No, no he wouldn't let me. No, he wouldn't let you. Mean. Wouldn't let you. We couldn't <laughs> fit it in. I only fit five boxes of Lego in. Only. Exactly. See? You got to take stupid Lego. As well. Hey, Centre Parks do a price match thing on Lego in their toy shop. So I managed to, bearing in mind Centre Parks is the most expensive place in the world for everything else, I managed to get a really cool Lego set for less than it would be pretty much anywhere else, much less than it would be buying directly from Lego. I was delighted with myself. Little remote control Audi e-tron that I'm now terrorising Anna with and Dave. Dave hates it. Really? Yeah, drive it into him. Doesn't like it. Do I'm not surprised. You, you do that to me, you do that to the dog. No wonder we don't like it. Well, I like <laughs> to drive it into it. You can't give me a remote control car and then... I didn't. Not you me... got it yourself. You encouraged me to do it. In fact, you completely enabled me because um, we had a little bit of a problem while we were away because somebody, you shall remain nameless, forgot his wallet. So I was on oh. contactless Apple Pay only the whole time we were away. And of course, I'm away with the family, which means I'm paying for everything. Uh, but I didn't have my wallet with me and everything was fine until the day we went to buy the Lego. And I got the dreaded please insert card message. And I just looked at Anna with my sad puppy dog eyes. So she bought it and I transferred her the money. But she did enable me. Not to do it into my feet, though, Kevin. Well, That's not you mine. knew the risk you were taking when you let me get it. Mm. Yeah, but you were yeah. happy, so... I was happy, yeah. I can't say no when you look happy. Unfortunately, the contact has started working again after that, so I still <laughs> had to buy the rest of the food and stuff for the rest of the week. But I thought I'd got out of buying everything as soon as it was at the point where, like, we generally we thought I was going to have to drive home just to get my wallet because I'm a buffoon and forgot to bring my wallet. But, yeah, wow. it just seemed to be... I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. It asked for me to insert my card. I panicked and abandoned the transaction. And then later on that day and for the rest of the week, it never asked for it again. That doesn't mm. feel like the best security that it could have offered. 
but maybe just the act of me logging into the app was enough for it to be like oh, okay he is real he knows what's going on but i didn't like authorize it to carry on apple paying or anything it just started working again inexplicably oh i wonder why i don't know why yeah no no, no idea <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. maybe because you you logged into the uh yeah it must just thing. be logging in but well, you were playing games you took your switch with you you didn't take the playstation but you did take your switch did I take my switch? Yes, I did. You definitely took your switch. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I don't remember picking it up. But yes, I did. And I did pick it up quite a few times. I can't remember why. Maybe to because it's all... To stop people sitting on it. No, maybe because all Andy wanted to watch was Challenge. Um, oh, I've seen the same... The same... The same exact show... That was on in the evening, then that transferred to the morning. So they were there, the exact same questions, shows. Oh, broke my brain. But I knew all the answers, so Andy thought that was funny. But I did pick up my Switch. I did only play one game, and that was Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, I want to yep. say. Sounds yeah, right. um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't remember. Like I remember, I know I played this on the DS. I don't remember it because it was a long time ago. But now it's on the Switch, and it has been HD of, and it's not like so. Like so, you are in a man, obviously a mansion, and the mansion is haunted by ghosts, but not just booze, other ghosts, and. Um, there's this like professor, and he needs you to go and vanquish them. And um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, and the way he commu- communicates with you is via your DS, because I think back in the day it would you, like you would use your DS. He would pop up on the top screen and talk to you that way. But obviously now it's a switch. They are still using the DS. It, it it's a bit not jarring. But it's like, oh, with your whatever they call it in the game, um, another word, uh, the word they use for the S in a way, like they put like the deep scream or something like that. I'm like, if I'm not on a DS, I'm on, I'm on a Switch. But whatever, I, just, I guess they just wanted to stay true to the game and just the HD up. But um, it does. I don't know whether on the DS it had like the directional thing when you tip it and you could look around the room. Again, I I don't remember if if DS had that capability. Um, um, can't remember. Yeah, I I don't. I know it had the three D thing, but I don't remember if it had the spatial thing. But yeah, you can use your the gyroscope. I'm guessing it's inside it. Um, to look around the room. It's also use your vacuum cleaner to suck up the ghosts. Um, I've used it a few times, but when I'm like, I like to lay on my front and then hold my DS in front of me. And doing that kind of hurts the arms after a while. Um, so I did change it around um, to manual. Bit more fiddly than doing it, um, like tilting it, but you just have to get used to it. Um, but it's fine. It's it's different to 3. Um, 3, you are, again, in a mansion, obviously. But you're just going around and doing what you need to do, like the missions and doing whatever. This one... It's you are set a objective and then you have to go and do it. And then when you've done, Kevin, stop doing that. <laughs> I can't turn it down. I don't know how. Sorry about the the dinging. It's Kevin. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. So in this one, you are set an ob- objective, and when you when you have done it, um, you are like pixelated back to the professor. Now, it doesn't mm-hmm, stop mm-hmm. you going around the mansion, the bits you've opened. You can go here, there, and everywhere and do what you need, do whatever you want to do, really. But obviously, there's certain things you need. You need equipment for to do certain things. So, like, at the moment, I have my vacuum, which now I've up- updated because, you obviously, it's a Mario game. Well, a Mario S game, and you collect coins. So, I've updated that, my vacuum cleaner. So, now I can... Because you have to stun the ghosts with a light and then you have to suck them in. But as you're sucking them in, you also have to like, you know, like fishing in games where you have to pull back on the 
controller to reel it in. It's the same yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. concept. Um, but yeah, so I've got the vacuum cleaner. Obviously, I've got my light because um, that's the, one of the first things you get to see. But then I got a, I want to say a dark light, which basically like, you know, like a, a UV light kind of thing. And it's mm-hmm, like a, it, yeah. it, mag- it magics things up or around. So like there'll be like a painting of a coin with this wibbly wobbly background colour and then you uh, like shine the dark light on it and then you get that coin or key or whatever. But as you do that, these spirit balls will pop out and you have to suck them up for the the thing to be there. I don't understand the spirit balls, but you have to suck them up. If you don't suck them up, it disappears again. So you have to you have to do do something for that to work. But so I've got them three things. I'm gonna throw that's, this thing. That's in not a me bit. sending another message. That's because you didn't open the previous one, so it's reminding <laughs> you. I only ever All sent right, I one. I don't know how to to shut it up on my um iPad. I don't know how to Close do your that. Close iPad not... would be the obvious way. Oh, okay. Let me do that. <laughs> it's just sat up waiting for me to go back to my new Amsterdam um, marathon. Um, so, yeah. So, I think you have to... I, the way I think you have to do is, like, you do certain bits, you collect certain equipment, and that makes lets you go further into the game. I just so I, as I said, I was playing this at, at Center Parks um, just because I couldn't watch Challenge anymore. But I, Andy wanted me to be with him, and I have done the first area. That that's what now I I didn't like. Yes, I've played this before, but I don't remember every game I played. I didn't know this had five different areas, and this first area had I want to say five missions and then a boss mission. The boss mission okay. was that, oh my God, it drives me insane. It took me a good few goes so because you had to like, so there was spiders. Like obviously you're in the cellar and there were spiders everywhere and there's a big spider and you have to like pull. You have to suction up this ball of web, but it's suck. It's like mm-hmm. got um, a bungee line to it. But, so you have to pull it backwards Avoid because if you get hit by anything, so it like the spider spits ven- like, it's like a massive spider, and then there's little spiders. The big spider spits venom at you, so you have to dodge that. There's also spiders coming down from the ceiling, so you have to dodge them because you can't do it if you're like if you're pulling something, you can't do anything but pull that thing. And the amount of times one of the spiders come down, and then I would drop the thing because I had to pull it all the way back to get then this um, suit of armor. Had to miss me, but um, get the, the the ball of web to set that on fire for then that to sizzle all the way back to the um, spider and then a big boom. But I had to do it three times. It was, yeah, it was not fun because I had to twirl things around. Yeah, it was just, and, and then, and then when the, because it was like possessed, because I think it was a, a real spider, but possessed by a ghost. And when the ghost came out, obviously you had to catch it and suck it. But there was like three ghosts in one. And that that's not fun for anybody at all. But um, I did the five areas. I did the boss. And now I am in section two of five, I believe. And I ha- I, and then okay. I played. So, like, there is quite a bit of gameplay to this. Like, I, I, I did, like, two full charges. So whatever that is in time, I did that. Decent. On, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that amount on two four charges of a switch. So there is longevity in these games. And there always is with Mario games. I don't think I've ever finished a Mario game, if I'm honest, ever. Because they just get progressively hard. Or I lose interest. Um I haven't I haven't lost interest in this. It's just I had I've played something else that I started again from the start. What? how she rolls okay i started starfield again all right okay giving it another chance okay. for the third time um okay i just i just needed a game where i could just do what i wanted to do and just go and and do whatever i wanted and this time it's a com- it, not a completely different game but i've gone a, a different way and I'm doing all sorts of things I didn't do in the first game. The, f- the first game, the first time. Um, yeah, it, it 
this game has a lot in it and there is a lot of re- replayability like different storylines and stuff you can go down because like with with fallout games there is different factions that you can like be friends with and do their missions and go against whatever and this has the same like system there are different factions you can go with who are against certain other factions and you get good loot from them and and yeah i i went in i went in like into the game did mm-hmm. the first bit it always starts the same it's just like a fallout game you all, it always starts at, at the start obviously it's not like yeah, cyberpunk yeah, yeah. not yeah cyberpunk where you've got like three different start points this is the same you're a miner you get this stone it takes you on a wibbly wobbly adventure in your mind and then you are set on to find all the other bits of stone and I'm doing that I'm much faster than I did it the first time I played it. I don't know what I was doing in the first one. I, I I I think I didn't understand the game. I was like, what is this? This is not Fallout, which it isn't. Like it's not Fallout, but no, my bones no. want Fallout. <laughs> um But yeah, I, I found a, like three of the stones already. Um I've only been playing it for like ten hours. So I've got like three of the stones. I've fa- I found um I was off. I was off to the, the den, you know, where you can go to sell like the human remains and robot robot parts. Where yeah, yeah, like you're contraband. And that, as I was going to that area, I don't know how or why, but I end up in front of a space station. I was like, not seen this before. I thought it was like the eye. I think it's called, but this was not the eye. This was something different. So I thought, oh, I'll go over and have a look. Um, I docked with it because now I know how to dock with things. The amount of time the first time I played this trying to dock with things. The thing is with yeah, this game yeah. is the space stations are silvery grey. Fine. I'm fine with that. But the writing underneath what it tells you is in white and I couldn't distinguish between the white and the grey to see where it said dock. I could not see it. Maybe it's my eyes I'm getting old, but I could not see white on on the grey structure yeah, yeah, yeah. that was in front of me. I, it, yeah, it just it it hurt my. I just couldn't see it. I need them to put an accessibility where you can change the lettering to yellow or blue because that's my colours that I see with my dyslexic eyes. So blue or yellow. I need them to change it, but the, I can't find a way to change the. Uh, the lettering maybe i need to look a bit more um yeah so anyway i docked on this space station for thinking it was the eye but it wasn't it was a casino and i was like oh you got to the casino, casino. Then, yeah. yeah but there was nobody in it and it and there was there was well i say there was no one in it. there was pirates in it um yeah. but there was no gravity at all so i was like just like flying around shooting at these <laughs> pirates in the casino I was yeah. like this is mad yeah. I've never seen this before I've never I, I've yeah just never came across it um so I found some human remains oh yeah you yeah, look, yeah, you look yeah. at it oh, okay yeah because that that's, a, that's a it, source of that's a that's a that's a like a early game source of a lot of money oh I have a lot of money now yeah, like, yeah. I've got I've maybe a hundred thousand I did I, I couldn't I couldn't unlock the master one uh the master lock but I know where it is now. I'll go back to that one. I've got my lock picking up to master. I'm on the middle, so I need to go there. But I'm starting to understand the skill tree because the skill tree in the first one was like, what? What now? What? 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 Like, I just, <laughs> I could not understand what was happening. I was like, why are you giving, why am I like, yes, I'm getting the upgrade, but now I have to do this certain mission like a mini mission so i can unlock the next one like so i can't put two um two skill points into the same thing at the same time it like it makes you be slower and i'm like oh i just want my lockpick to master because i love i love lock lock picking i don't I, i'm getting used to the mini game for the for the lock picking mm-hmm, but goodness mm-hmm. me sometimes they mess me up oh just i want to punch the screen because i i can see what i'm supposed to do but it just doesn't fit and I know, I know that they they're gonna fit, but I just my eyes can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, I've been 
being Starfield again on the Xbox. I haven't turned Good. PlayStation on. How do you, how do you feel about weeks. it all? Are you more positive on it now? Because I know a you weren't bit. overly I'm, keen. <laughs> I'm a little. I need to get you. I need to get into my brain that I don't need to go to my spaceship every time to take off. I can just travel. Um, yes. Yeah. I'm every time I go to a planet, I'm not racing off where the icons are. I'm not bothered. There's nothing really there. It doesn't give you anything really. It's just like, oh, is the structure here? Great. All right. That's yeah. cool. I, yeah. I just I'm not going to that length anymore. I don't care what's over there. I'm just gonna stick with missions that I'm doing because in the last the last time I played this, I every planet I would land on, I would walk to every location i could find because i thought it would do me good but it doesn't there's nothing there it's just no oh it's a no. strange structure i'm like uh, do i what do i wanna... and like i know i know like the the powers are coming up and again in the first the, the first i never used them and i don't think i will coming up because the ones i got were a bit meh nah. i was like uh i don't really like get it like why do i want an oxygen bucket around me like i have a space suit so, I don't know, oh, uh, this game has hundreds of hours in, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see, like, we'll, yeah. I've got nothing yeah. on the horizon now until the 30th of uh, August, so I've got, like, a, a month and a bit to just chip away at that, I guess, because um, I've just, I've only got, really got them two new games, but I did take all... I took like three pictures at uh, Smith's today of all the upcoming releases and then I need to transfer them to Kevin and uh, pre-order them through the business because uh, that's what businesses are for. <laughs> Buying my games to review. That's it. That's me. That's, that's me, John. Lovely little bit of accountancy info there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> long, long been missing from the podcast, I've felt. Yes. That, that's it, so... I mean, we're to... done. So I mean, I can go to bed. bed. You've got things to do, own. Kevin. I have got yeah. things to do, but I don't mind going to bed. Uh, but in the meantime, if people want to hassle us on the internet, they can do that at MG UK Podcast, or they can follow me at Lelujo. You can follow I'm me at, at RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pab1986. I very much approve of Anna making a play. For it's because it's I because he wasn't here that time, and I just, you, Anna. I, I will just, fight you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it. Take his spot. It's, a be- it's been a long time coming. He never turns up. We'll see you next week, boys everyone. and girls. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Excellent, folks. Bye-bye.